established in the Brazos Valley. And for the last 25 years, Ellen has been there for us. Anytime we have asked her to do something, she does it. She was here for our 20th anniversary. And she's a very valuable member of this national sorority. She was born into a family of community organizers, educators, coaches, business owners, and preachers who were servant leaders across the state of Texas. So volunteerism is ingrained in this Hearn, Texas native who made Dallas her home upon completing her baccalaureate degree from North Texas State University in Denton, which is currently the University of North Texas. She majored in business education with a minor in music ed education and English. She has acquired a master's degree from Amberton University, majored in human relations in business. She is the wife to Willie Earl Johnson, and he's here, and I like for him to stay in and wave at him. And he's always with her. Right. You know, the national convention, state convention, He's always there, and her children. And she's the mother to Tobian and his wife, Tobiah, and her other son, Jabari Johnson. And, and some of us have watched these children grow up in the sorority, and they go with their mothers to the convention. Her community and civic involvement are numerous. She's a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, where she has served at every level since initiation into Zeta Eta chapter at the University of Texas. She has twice served as president of the Dallas Alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. She served on numerous committees with the Southwest region. Um, she's been the past chair of the Southwest Region Site Committee, the Credentials Committee, Nominating Committee, a host of committees. And because of her commitment to education and lifting others as she climbs, she has served over 25 years in various advisory roles back at the University, Chap at the University of Texas with the Zeta Eta chapter of Delta Sigma Theta sorority in North Texas. She also serves the university student body as well. She has been the recipient of the university's President's Green Glory Award for her tireless service toward the betterment of the university. Also, a library has been established in her name, the Ella Good Johnson Library and Media Center Center in Denton, Texas. Mrs. Johnson left her mark at the University of Texas through her efforts in chartering the National Pan Hellenic Council, an umbrella organization for the nine predominantly African American Greek letter organizations. Her commitment to education goes beyond the classroom. She has served as a mentor and board member on numerous organizations. She has served as parliamentarian and vice president of the Priscilla Art Club, volunteer and docent of the African American Museum Life and Culture Center, National Council of Negro Women. And it goes on and on and on. This is a remarkable lady. She is currently the president of Leadership Southwest Alumni Association, the most re recently has been elected board chair elect of the Leadership Southwest, membership chair of the National Association of Parliamentarians, the Priscilla Art Club. This businesswoman and entrepreneur is a recent graduate of the Leadership Southwest class of 2020. 2010. She is volunteer administrator for the Heads Up Foundation of Dallas, Texas, Vice President of Marketing, the Johnson & Johnson Group. She's retired 
Can you imagine this? She needs to be retired. <laughs> From Chevrolet Motor Division, General Motors Corporation. And she's now a professional event planner and has been a Dallas Independent School District educator. She's been recognized by many, many organizations, and I can go on to name them all over the country and at every level. She's a member of Concord Baptist Church, all right. and she is the epitome of a Proverbs 31 woman. Yeah. Her concern is always the mothers. Ella Good Johnson.
talking about it in behalf of my very best friend, my Sarah, and my mother, and Jabari and Toby's Miss Mama. Y'all know it's Miss Mama because the grandkids always call her that. Everon Faye Polk Good Robinson. I knew that that would be a tall order because, as I said, I know her too well. For those of you who knew her, raise your hand if you knew her. And then there are some of you who really, really, really knew her. <laughs> knew her well, in her other capacities as a current administrator is Dolores. She's worked with her. She's been her student. And then for those who know her from the church, uh, Old Elam Baptist Church and Bethel AME Church, you know that she was a type of person who would not say no to anything you asked her. She was a person who believed in doing things with excellence in class. You agree with me? She was a person who would give her the clothes off of her back. If she were here today, Everon would tell me, don't stand up there wasting folks' time saying nothing. Are <laughs> you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Tell them what you're going to tell them, then tell them, then tell them what you told them, and uh -huh. sit down. <laughs> Everon believed that less is more. You talk less and you remember more. You work less, you make more money. You work smarter, not harder. In this season of Thanksgiving and giving, we are grateful for today's celebration. We are grateful for God's blessings. We are grateful for Brazos Valley Area Alumni Chapter to be serving God's people in this community for 25 years. We are grateful as I look at your history that you are taking an intense interest in the youngsters in this area. They are our leaders of tomorrow. I would like to recognize the Delta Gems, the embodied persons, all of the youth group members that are here today. Will you stand and be recognized? beyond Dallas, Texas, to our brothers and sisters in Greekdom who are here. We applaud you because I see you are partnering with Delta Sigma Theta. That's what it's about. The more people we have working, the more productive the programs are. So the coalition building in this area is very important in forming teams where we can do more outreach. I know we tease you about your colors, it's okay, pink and green, purple and gold, blue and white and blue and gold. We love you and we need you to coalesce with Delta Sigma Theta's red and white to make an impact in this community. Yeah. You know, Evron is happy today. I know she is because she's on the balcony in heaven peeping down mm -hmm. at today's celebration. And she is applauding. But you also know that everyone has on her red dress, right. her red hat, oh, her red yeah. shoes, oh, and yeah. handbag to match. Yeah. And she's going to probably it. have a red and white pom pom saying, No grass in the valley, no grass in the valley. You know, I try to emulate her because she was what you call always wanted to be that perfect person. I tried. But sometimes I do have a bad hair day. And some days I have to dress down. And I sometimes just uh, say, Mama, I'm sorry. This is the best I can do today. Because she always wanted you to be ready to be presentable was her word. Is that right, Dolores? She wanted you to be presentable. So she was what we would call a Delta Diva. So we all need to remember the culture of Everon, and we need to tell others about that perfect person that she always wanted to be. Everon had a passion for Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Yep. She uh, lived the principles of our organization. That's why when she left Marlin Alumni Chapter, it was a mutual arrangement. She, know when we, she knew that we needed a Delta Sigma Theta in the Brasses Valley area because there was much service to do. 
I don't remember what your chapter number was, but I'm sure it was somewhere, where are you, 500, 600, 700? 